All right, guys, so here's a quick SketchUp tip. It involves being able to offset to create a fill pattern for your Sharpie marker attachment um, using the offset tool. First thing I'm going to do is type in some text. Uh, just put some text in here. I'll explode it. And I'll do a couple different shapes here. As well. I just want to show you it's kind of a hidden feature of the offset tool a lot of people don't know about and I thought I'd share it. If you click on the offset tool this is what it looks like here. You go over most people know that you can click and drag out an offset. Now one thing you might not know is down here in the distance you can actually type in how far you want that offset to be. Now I'm going to hit control Z and get rid of what I just did. So I'm going to click on this side, I'm going to move it over, I'm going to click again and then I'm going to type 0 .0437 and that's the distance between these two lines you can see it moved it over. Now what you might not know is that you can double click on the inside face here once you've done that and it'll repeat that process. Uh, one of the cool things about it is you can keep clicking on that inside face and repeat that process. This works really well for us using the Sketchicam plugin. Uh, we can go up here and click on the center line tool. This will allow the bit to cut at a certain depth along this center line cut. Down here you can see our depth percentage. You can hit the D key and scroll through, toggle through different depths that are preset but you can also just type in your own depth if you wanted to for instance five but I'm using quarter inch thick material I'm using the pen sharpie attachment so I'm just going to set it at 25 percent of movement along the z-axis when it goes to draw uh, the shape and then you just highlight them and select them and there you have it now one of the nice features about this offset tip is that you can also go to another shape and it remembers the last one that you did which works out really well for text the problem is SketchUp has an offset bug that allows the offsets to overlap so for instance if I wanted to do this text I would uh, click here scroll over type in 0 .0468 enter and then start clicking when it gets so far, it'll just start overlapping, as you can see here. Now, I'm going to hit undo, and I'll leave it here. That's about as close as we'll get. Oops. Wait one second here. Okay, so you can see that my offset has changed there, so I'm going to fix that. 0.0468. And I'll just click it here. Remember, it's a double click. Now, that's about as close as we're going to get. So I'll continue doing that. And you can see we have an overlap here. So I'm going to stop there. And it's not perfect. And it will require you to go back and do some cleanup. Like, for instance, on this T, I could go over here and I could say, okay, I know this is going to cause a problem here because it's going to offset. So I should be able to go in here, make sure you don't have any faces selected. And now that I've closed these areas off, it still has a little bit of an issue here, but at least it's a little better. And you could do the same thing uh, perhaps with this, with this area. So it just saves a little bit of time, and uh, I thought I would share it. Let me see if this will work here. It's not bad. You can see, okay, that one really went in there and just messed up something. So I'll just hit Control Z. And I'll have to manually go in here and adjust, you know, maybe put my own lines in here. But at least it will get us a little bit closer to sort of a homemade pocketing 
solution. Uh, here on the H, I would just go through, close off this line here, because you know this is the one that will cause the problem, and then treat these as individual pockets. Like it gets offsets, like you see here. Same thing on this L. I would close off this leg. Go back to the offset tool. Whoops, messed up there. Um, make sure that you don't have a face selected like I do here. Uh, then you can go back and erase these areas that you've uh, closed in like this and and just clean up the drawing a little bit better and that's just one way you could do it um, of course you'd go through and using your uh, depth tool whatever depth you set you could get these ready to be pocketed so hope this helps uh, just a quick sketch up tip and use with the sketchy cam. Thanks for watching.